Now you've installed the subframe, you can begin to install the boards. When handling millboard decking, it is advised to wear long sleeves and gloves. We've chosen not to do so in this video to enable viewers to see the detail of the installation. When cutting the board, in addition to the long sleeves and gloves, we advise wearing a dust mask, safety glasses and ear defenders. Remember, you do not want any board shorter than 800mm or to cover less than three joists. The design may incorporate an edging. In this case, the edging is the next stage. First, you need to decide on the overhang of the bullnose boards and the height of the fascia. This overhang can be a maximum of 40 millimeters from the front of the fascia. If you're installing strip lighting, then you can route out a groove on the underside of the board. When you come to mitre, it's best to cut from the center of a board, using both halves of the board for ease of installation and to account for natural variance in grain and tone. Ensure when gluing the mitered edges together that a PU wood glue and super glue is used. When two edging lengths come together along a single side of the deck, a 45 degree angle back cut should be made so that one piece slides on top of the other. These angles should be painted with touch-up paint before being fixed. Use a string line to install the first length of bullnose board. It's essential that this first board is straight. Before securing to the subframe, we recommend laying all of the decking boards on the ground to ensure you achieve a good mix of grain and tone to enhance the aesthetics of the deck. Now you can begin the first run. We recommend 4mm spacing between boards and 0 to 2mm spacing end to end. Before fixing the boards, you can prepare the DuraFix screws by lightly spraying them with silicon spray. This enables the screw to enter the board smoothly and helps the top surface of the board conceal the screw. When screwing into the boards, push down onto the screw and ensure that the head goes 5mm beneath the surface of the board. Where two boards come together at their ends, we advise cutting the boards on a slight back cut. This is so that if the joint is not perfectly square, a saw blade can be used to make the gap uniform. The ends of the boards must be supported by a minimum of 20mm of joist beneath, with the screws being inserted 20 to 25mm from the end at an angle. It's good to set up a string line to check you're still running straight every five boards. It's relatively easy at this stage to straighten them up if required by adjusting the spacing between boards. For steps, the bullnose board is installed in the same way as on the deck area. Sometimes a board can be used as a border for aesthetics behind this edging piece. When you come to the mitre of this border board, you want it so tight that you cannot see the joint. To do this, you can make a cut with a slight back cut angle. When you put the ends of the boards together, if the angle is slightly larger on one side, you can make a new cut from the shorter side and taper to the tip. Now, when you push the ends of the boards together, they should meet flush. For installing the fascia, it is cut, mitered and glued the same way as the edging pieces. When fixing the fascia boards, make sure to do so at 300mm intervals. Once the deck installation is complete, we advise that the boards are cleaned to remove any dirt. Now that you've completed your millboard decking, watch our maintenance video to keep it looking at its best.